Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for June 7, 2022, the Tasers on a Drone edition. Uh, In a somewhat disturbing story, Taser maker Axon Enterprise said on Sunday it was halting work on a project to equip drones with stun guns and but with tasers. This was brought on uh, in a positive uh, output or impact from the ethics board of the company, where eight members, excuse me, nine members resigned from the 12-member panel in a rare public rebuke of one of the watchdog groups set up um, by the company in recent years. The... um, entire thought of this is just horrifying and you can certainly imagine uh, Donald Trump and his magma hat wearing ilk uh, deploying tasers from drones uh, to take out everybody in their path so at least this has been forestalled for a little bit uh, next up uh, from also from Reuters tension at Toshiba has erupted into a public row as directors have traded barbs uh, from the external directors who traded criticism over governance and nomination of head fund executives to the conglomerate's board. Uh, Japan, obviously, is uh, Japan Inc. is notoriously closed off, and given the uh, corruption and other problems from Toshiba, you might think that they would want to clean this up, but apparently how to do it is still an open question. Uh, next up, we had our first crypto... Uh, currency insider trading case where the SEC has brought, or rather uh, Manhattan prosecutors have brought a insider trading case against a former employee of OpenSea, the largest auction site for digital goods known as uh, NFTs. It's uh, believed to be the first case. A uh, former product manager at OpenSea is accused of using his knowledge of which NFTs would be featured on the site's homepage to secretly purchase from the collection in advance and then profit when the auctions increase their value. So uh, crypto has made it to the big time because we've got our first insider case. And uh, speaking of crypto, from the Wall Street Journal Risk and Compliance Journal, Mingi Sun reporting that Bermuda has doubled down on crypto uh, despite uh, recent market turmoil. Uh, Bermuda wants to become the um, one of the venues for home shoring and officing of crypto. The company or the country has long been known for its offshore insurance and reinsurance industry, and it's betting that transparency around digital asset regulation can help it attract more cryptocurrency firms. The um, market, of course, a uh, large part collapsed and many people lost huge fortunes, but it makes sense given uh, Bermuda's reinsurance and surplus insurance history, they do this. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.